Hello people, in this video let us look at uterine inversion. This is an obstetrics topic. So basically uterine inversion is it is a life threatening uh, complication in the third stage of labor. In this what happens the uterus, uh, the uterus is turned out inside out okay which can be partial or complete. Um, so basically what is happening here the uterus is becoming in turned inside out. Uterus, uterus turned inside out. Okay, so this is a life threatening complication in the third stage of labor and this will be acute condition, right? And it is, uh, it can become complete, complete. Here they have shown you partial and then they have shown you complete. Okay, so basically third stage of labor means the placenta has to be delivered. At this stage what happens, the baby has come out, the placenta has to come out. At this stage, if you pull very uh, hard or the lady is pushing, there's prolonged labor or something, the uterus itself can invert out. Okay, so here you're seeing a first degree where you're seeing there is dimpling of the fundus and uh, there is uh, the, the fundus is still above the in level of the internal os. Then you have this uh, uh, second degree where the fundus passes through the cervix but it lies within the vagina. And then you have the third one here. This is a third degree. It is complete inversion. And here not only the fundus uh, comes out, right? <clears throat> Even the cervix vagina itself can get inverted. Okay. So the placenta may or may not be attached. That's what they are saying. So it is only, uh, uh, te they are telling here that the uterus is turned inside out. Okay. In the complete one, even cervix and vagina. Okay. Can be out. So why does this happen? Because of spontaneously it can happen or it can happen because of uh, iatrogenic causes. Uh, iatrogenic means somebody is trying to pull like this, which is wrong, <coughs> leading to uterine inversion. Spontaneous means why will it happen? People think of it. So uh, whenever um, <coughs> there's some coughing or sneezing, intra-abdominal pressure has uh, increased, okay, etc. If there is a short called placenta accreta, fundal attachment of placenta, all this if it is there then it happens okay the chances are more so what are the spontaneous causes you understood there's a short called placenta accreta right that means accreta is kind of burrowing kind of a thing into it is like a fevicolky jode between the placenta and the uterus so it's it is going to cause this kind of a inversion of the uterus okay iatrogenic means what somebody pulled the cord right faulty technique in manual removal mismanagement of third stage of labor can lead to uh, uh, this inversion of uterus which is life-threatening uh, condition remember so basically you should pull only when there is a push from the mother right and you should do control cord traction that's what is important what are the risk factors like we already told you if there is a, a morbidly adherent placenta the placenta is adherent morbidly let's like fevicol key jode is there or there's a prolonged labor uh, the baby is so big the uterus was so enlarged the uterine malformations short umbilical cord tocolysis, manual removal of placenta whenever you attempt that. So all those are risk factors. Okay. Now uh, uterine inversion uh, is uh, life threatening. We told you here there can be shock, hemorrhage and uh, pulmonary embolism, infection, chronic uh, condition. It can become, there can be uterine sloughing, etc. So basically look at this. Um, shock is neurogenic shock. Here the nerves, there will be tension on the nerves. Okay. Because of the Stretching of the infundibular pelvic ligament. Okay, so the nerves are getting stretched, tensed, tension is there on the nerves, pressure on the ovaries. So imagine if the uterus is coming down, it will pull the ovaries also down, right? Peritoneal irritation, all this can lead to neurogenic shock. So why did they say it's a life threatening condition? No obstetrician wants to look at the uterus inside out, right? So how will you know that the uterus is out? What do you think? What are the symptoms so these people will have acute lower abdominal pain with bearing down sensation okay so they'll have pain acute abdominal pain what are the signs what as a doctor what will you see here you can see that there will be shock in this person right you can do an abdominal examination you can check the fundal height right then you can do a bimanual examination you will see that there is something protruding outside the vulva etc right if it is complete then you can do ultrasound and you can confirm the diagnosis. Okay. Now what happens in these people? Is the prognosis good? Uh, no, the prognosis is not at all good because this usually happens in an unfavorable surrounding. Okay. And even if the patient survives, she can have uh, uh, infection, etc, etc. So how do you pre uh, prevent, treat? Let's look at that now. 
how will you prevent treat prevention i think you already can see because you know you should not pull like this right this this you already know so this you will write and then you should be very gentle <coughs> how exactly to uh, separate the placenta those techniques you should learn right then coming to management now that this uh, this uterine inversion has happened what will you do you will call for help you will manage shock right how will you manage shock so basically we are telling that you have to put it back okay manual replacement you can do manual replacement of this uterus urgent manual replacement of the uterus you can do without anesthesia so how will they put it back is that whichever part has come out first you put that last the part the, to replace that part first which is inverted last okay so that is what is important you have to support uh, with the abdomen okay so uh, then you should put keep the hand inside the uterus itself until the uterus becomes contracted by uh, parenteral oxytocin you will give or um, uh, pgf2 alpha that is prostaglandin right so basically you will give all this um, the hand will still remain inside remember so that it doesn't again come out the uterus so this is very important so placenta you will remove manually only after the uterus becomes contracted so later we will handle the placenta issue no need to pull the placenta out that's what they are saying keep the uterus in place okay but if you have to replace uh, reduce the bulk etc they can remove the placenta they are saying so how will you manage shock you will have to give blood transfusion etc okay and then uh, <clears throat> you will have to elevate the head of the foot so that she gets some blood into her body right so venous return so all that shock treatment definitely you know isn't it airway breathing circulation there is one method here called as the hydrostatic replacement manual replacement yes you understood there is one more thing here called as the hydrostatic replacement this is uh, called as uh, what method is this called as o sullivan's method okay as the name suggests hydro so water right so what they are doing they are giving warm sterile fluid into the vagina okay and then they'll block the vaginal opening and uh, they can use some silicon cup etc etc they are expecting that this uh, intra vaginal pressure will lead to the replacement of the uterus okay so this is what is hydrostatic method if all this doesn't work now finally they will do a surgery so they are doing abdominal operation that is called as howl tains operation okay so this is what about uh, uterine inversion so uterine inversion is actually very similar to prolapse but uterine inversion comes in obstetrics right prolapse comes in uh, gynecology so basically here this is because of third stage of labor it happens uh, as a complication of third stage of labor where the placenta has to be delivered the uterus turns inside out this is an acute condition remember and uh, here uh, you can first degree second degree third degree first degree is it is still within the internal os there is dimpling of the uh, fundus second degree is it has come through the cervix and it is inside the vagina and uh, so third is it's outside the vulva even cervix and vagina could have become internal inside out okay then this can be because of spontaneous causes or iatrogenic that is doctor caused the risks are that uh, there is a huge uterus or there is a prolonged labor or uh, there is a placenta accreta fevicol ki jod between the uterus and the placenta right there is probably fetal macrosomia big baby ut uh, uterine over enlargement uterine malformation then short umbilical cord uh, manual removal of placenta tocolysis etc okay even if they have elher danlo syndrome that also can be a risk the day it can be life threatening because it lead to neurogenic shock so the shock new nerves uh, why are they affected because the tension on the nerves because of the um, tear in the the stretching the stretching of the infundibulo pelvic ligament pressure on the ovaries and uh, peritoneal uh, irritation there can be hemorrhage pulmonary embolism also is bad isn't it infection uterine stuffing chronic inversion can happen so uh, <clears throat> what are the symptoms the lady will have pain and she will have uh, bearing down sensation signs you will see that there is shock abdominal examination you can see uh, the height of the fungus fundus etc right a cupping or dimpling of the fundal surface you can feel 
by manual examination basically you can see that there's a mass protruding outside of the vulva with broad end pointing downward and looking reddish purple in color okay ultrasound so you can confirm this so how will you prevent you should not pull you should be gentle etc 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 then management you have to manage the shock or you have to give her uh, fluid blood blood transfusion etc if required then um, uh, replacement of the uterus you have to put it back manually you can do even without general anesthesia they're going to try to push it in hydrostatic o sullivan method uh, where they are using warm saline or warm uh, fluid basically intravaginal pressure and expecting that to replace the uterus abdominal surgery called as holtens operation manual uh, remember you have to put the la the 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 part that came last you should push that in first okay and then you should put uh, abdominal uh, support you should give and you should leave the hand inside till the uterus contracts the placenta removal is not very important you can wait and remove the placenta later for this they are saying you can raise the foot end of the bed so that the venous return will happen and she'll have blood volume isn't it so that is also another thing so this is about uterine inversion bye bye